Hi everyone, welcome back to So Well DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created these really cute farmhouse bee decor pieces using some Dollar Tree materials as well as a printer and some paint. So let's get into a list of the materials you will need to create this project. I am using these two pieces that I found at Dollar Tree around Valentine's Day. These are some images that I designed using images from Google that I combined to make a picture, but you could of course print whatever images you would like. A sanding sponge. White school glue mixed with water or just standard Mod Podge, either one would work. Some paint. I am using the colors Territorial Beige and Real Brown. Some paint brushes, I am using the larger one and then you will need one with stiffer bristles and scissors. Begin by removing the jute hangers and you'll just wanna place those to the side because we will reuse them and then you'll take your sanding sponge and remove all the glitter on the photo. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I am just using a white paint to cover the dark letters so they don't show through the paper. So I'm just using one coat of this. Like I said before, these are just printed images that I designed in my Photoshop program, but you can find whatever images you want. And then after I printed them, I just lined them up and centered them where I wanted them. And then I just used my fingernail to go around and create the dent so I knew where I needed to cut on the paper. So just take your fingernail, drag it around, it'll cause the paper to bend, and that is where you will cut to size. Next, to make Mod Podge, if you don't have any, you can use a little bit of water and then you will just use a dollop of school glue. And you'll definitely wanna use more glue than water and you'll just mix that together. And this will create a very similar product to Mod Podge. Apply an even coat all over the surface of the image. Now in that same Mod Podge type mixture, you are going to take a little bit of the territorial beige or any beigey color and just a few drops and you'll want to mix it in just to get that nice color and this will be what we are going to put all over the printed image to get that distressed and uh, aged look to the paper. I did end up using the credit card after I completely covered this to go over it all again and make sure all the bubbles were flattened out. So, and it also, um, by doing this, it did kind of give it more of a distressed look by removing some of the ink in a few places. So I think that it turned out really nice with this technique. If you have a heat dryer on hand, it is great for preventing bubbles. Next, we are going to be using the real brown and I am going to be taking just a few drops again right there in the same mixture to darken it up. And this is what I'm going to use to go around the edges to add just that little bit more of distressing. So we're kind of creating an ombre effect with the darkening from being darkest around the edges and working your way outwards. So if you like this effect, you can do this. It just really gives it that worn and aged look and it naturally seems to occur from the outside in. So just go around and apply as much of this detail as you would like. Next, using the stiffer bristled paintbrush, I am barely dipping into the real brown color and barely getting anything on the brush at all. And then I am just using a dabbing technique to create a little bit more distressing. And I am going around the edges in a few places. And again, you can add as little or as much of this detail as you would like. I just think that it really finished off 
nicely um, to kind of hide the little bit of edging that may not have been, you know, fit perfectly or just cover up anything that might have been showing through. So again, go around, add as little or as much of this detail as you would like and have fun with it. I did the second image that I showed at the beginning of this video the exact same way, but I didn't film the entire thing. So here I am just going around adding the darkest effect to this one as well. Lastly, to reapply or make the markings for where we're going to hot glue the hanger, I just used this and found how low I wanted to hang it and made a mark and then centered it in the middle of the staples and then made that mark after I lined both of them up to the side or side by side together so it would be even. And then I am just tying a little knot in the uh, jute that we cut off in the beginning and then I am just going to hot glue them straight across um, for the hanging mechanism. And that is all for today's tutorial, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I know that the bees and uh, bee-type decor are really popular around the springtime or just year-round in general, and this is a piece you could use year-round. So if you have liked this, please make sure that you are following me so you can be notified when I upload more fun, affordable farmhouse DIYs like this, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!